Yep. All right, let's see. Psychology assessment 18 question 3. All right. A primary oh, I forgot to read the question here. Let's let's read the question first. Hmm. Mm, what is the difference between a primary reinforcer and a secondary reinforcer? Well, we're still discussing at this point the procedure of or the learning procedure of reinforcement, right? So we have a reinforcement, that's the entire procedure. Then we have the reinforcer, right? And the reinforcer is the actual stimulus used to increase the chances of behavior to reoccur. Now, when we discuss reinforcer, we have a hierarchy of reinforcer, right? And this is what we're going to discuss. We have primary reinforcer and secondary reinforcer. So a primary reinforcer affects a person directly. We could consider food, water, pain. A secondary reinforcer affects a person through an association with the primary reinforcer. This is the main difference between primary and secondary reinforcer. So when we discuss the word primary, especially primary reinforcer, we are focusing mainly on biological needs. We are <clears throat> focusing what can we contribute to oneself in order to function properly, right? And when we discuss secondary, especially secondary reinforcers, we are discussing or focusing on what can we acquire in order to gain these primary reinforcers, all right? So let me give you an example. Primary reinforcer, food, water, okay? It's essential for a person to consume food and water in order to live, right? Now, a secondary reinforcer. What can you consider a secondary reinforcer? Money. You need money to buy the food. You need money to buy the water. And this is what a secondary reinforcer is. So the main difference between primary and secondary reinforcer is a primary reinforcer affects a person directly. You could consider pain as a primary reinforcer as well. A secondary reinforcer affects a person through an association with the primary reinforcer. Money. You need money to buy Tylenol in order to cure someone from his migraine. 